Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting a post in a woodwind instrument. In this case, we'll be working with a clarinet, but what I'm speaking about applies to other woodwind instruments as well. With uh, the post in a wooden instrument, they're threaded into the body typically. Sometimes they're pressed in with a, a locking screw and washer tab uh, attached to it, but most often they're threaded directly into the body. So over time these threads could become loose, the posts could become loose because the wood can shrink and often does, and um, or it can expand, enlarging the, um, the thread hole size and allowing some looseness be between the body thread and the thread of the post itself. So it's important in respect for these uh, issues on the clarinets and other woodwinds, and it's really uh, very important to remedy uh, a loose post if it occurs, because a loose posts could cause binding of keys primarily. Um, in the case of, of this joint, I've got several loose posts here. Um, these both have springs in them, and typically what happens is with uh, a key that pushes against the spring, when the spring is loaded, it and, the, and if the post is loose in the body, the post will turn and cause binding of the key potentially, because it's very important that the, uh, the face of the post mates perfectly with the face of the key on the hinge. So if we don't have that integrity, it's likely that we'll have some drag on the mechanism, um, maybe some real tension, and potentially even some just out and out binding of the key mechanism. So anytime I see a loose post, I'm gonna treat it. The way I do that, uh, first of all, I have a couple tools for tightening posts and loosening them. You could certainly use pliers, but if you do, make certain that the pliers are lined with felt so you won't do any damage to the post. It's also hard to get the post threaded in really um, accurately to get it started accurately with a plier. So I always do that by hand so I have a really ultimate feel. But then as I'm tightening the post into place or loosening it, I use a little tool such as this that I've made out of drill rod. And I have a couple different sizes. I would have one for, for these two posts and another one for a threaded post because the hole is smaller. This post is loose also. Any of them that I could turn that easily, I'm going to treat. Let me show you how we're going to do that. I'll take that post out. And I use a little baking soda. I put a little baking soda in the hole. Just a touch. I don't need it on the seat area, but rather I want it in the bottom of the hole so the threads aren't as deep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start that post in by hand. So I want to make sure I get the thread started real accurately. Don't want any cross threading. And I use my little tool to take it home. That one worked out nicely. I've got just the right amount of material in there of baking soda and I'm just going to use a plier to bring it the last little uh, pressure on it to bring it into alignment. I'll do the same thing on these other posts. Usually it's the right amount if I've got the post fairly snug and it's not completely in alignment. If I have to turn it maybe a eighth of a turn or less with the pliers to bring it back into home alignment, then I know I've got just the right amount of baking soda in the hole. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.